on for something else I can go back over here and put it into a different category so let's pick this one up now I, and so this one is from Amazon but it's slightly different so if I want to make it a different category I could say let's add the details and say that this one is going to be from now I could use the same uh, name up top but maybe I want to differentiate it so I'm going to say it's from a different Amazon so that I have a different customer uh, that will be set up or you could use the same customer uh, if you so choose uh, but I can differentiate the account down here and I can set up a differentiating rule based on the information that's pulling through so I'm going to add another account and say let's say this is going to be uh, a 4365 account let's say new let's say 4370 4370 and this is going to be a revenue type of account and uh, hold on revenue and it's going to be for let's say these are uh, book sales book sales we're selling books on Amazon our book you can go in and check it out we're making this isn't really for books I'm just kind of making this up but there it is we're gonna say okay boom and then let's make a rule for it so I'm gonna go up top now that I have my account added options drop down and I'm gonna say we want to make a bank rule and we will make a rule so it's gonna be it uh, any text field I like and then if it contains and I'm just gonna make sure to have that differentiating fa factor which is the Amazon Amazon service as opposed to the other Amazon and there it is and then I'm gonna just delete the second bit because I don't need it and I'm gonna say contact I'm gonna make a new contact which is gonna be Amazon services slightly different than amazon.com for the last one so we can sort our two items in different contacts or customers and then 100% of it is going to be going to that new account we set up which is book sales all right and then let's save it and the rule should be applied differentiating the rule and if I scroll down there it is so I'm going to add that one and so now if I go to my checking account it's going to be an increase to the checking account but I want to go to my income statement that's really where we differentiated things on the income statement and now we've got our book sales so we have the two rules being applied out even though they're basically being coming from the same place all right let's go back to the tab to the left let's just add uh, some other income items so here's like an audible income so this would be like uh, uh, an, an, you could make it so I'm gonna say let's add the details on that one and we'll make a rule for it I'll make another account for it so maybe I just want to call it audible but I'll leave that for now because I'll adjust it on the rule anyways and I'm gonna make another account for it so this is gonna be an income account which I'll call uh, 4380 4380 on the number 4380 and I'm just gonna call it that audible income so I had to sneeze there for a second I'll just call it audible audible uh, book audiobook audible audible books sales <laughs> something like that all right and then I'm gonna say all right uh, hold on that's the account that should be down here audible book sales and this should be revenue revenue and that looks good all right let's save it and let's go up and make a rule drop down drop down create a rule there are rules here and I'm just gonna make a standard rule uh, text any text field if it contains and I don't need the payments bit maybe just audible that's all I need if it has that then do it get rid of the second thing I'm gonna copy audible down here that's gonna be my new customer contact adding it and then we're gonna say the account is gonna be the audible account huh right there and there it is and then so that looks good let's go and save it and then if I go to my income statement just to check it out or oh, hold on I didn't add it yet you got to add it 
and then income statement update we can see uh, book sales pulling through all right let's go back to the first tab let's just add some more of these here so let's just go through these and just add them so audible i'll just add that and amazon verizon let's just go ahead and add the verizon and i'll just kind of clean this up a bit and add them as we go uh google here's a google one let's say that's youtube so it is youtube we'll just say that's youtube okay so we'll add that and we're gonna say i'll just call it uh youtube so i'll copy youtube and then down here i'll make another account and say it's revenue i'm gonna say four three nine zero so i'm gonna say all right new one new account four three nine zero and i'm gonna say the account type is a revenue account and it's gonna be for youtube and then save it and that's all we need to make the rules so i'm gonna hit the drop down up top keeps doing that drop down create a bank rule it's going to be contained one i'm going to say any text field if it has google in it i don't need or just say youtube if it just has youtube in it that's all i need then do it i'm going to delete this bit youtube's my new uh now again i could put the the vendor as google here uh or or youtube right it kind of depends or the customer the contact i'm just going to call it youtube which probably isn't the most proper should have called it google but whatever youtube is the account we set up and then it's going to go boom all right let's add it and let's add it and then uh let's check these off so amazon i can check that one off audible i'll check that one off uh let's add interest that's from the bank so i'll add that one so let's add the details here we're just going to say that's an interest payment so okay so let's just add the account it should be an interest account an expense type of account so revenue expense uh this is interest income <laughs> this is a income account right because it's an interest payment received all right, interest income. We don't have any interest income here, so I'm going to say income. It's going to let's put it up uh, in revenue. You might put it in other income, like at the bottom of the income statement, because it's not like part of your normal operations. So maybe we put it in other. Uh, so I'll put it down next to the seven five. So, so let's make it seven five five zero. Let's say add and seven five five zero, and this is going to be uh uh in uh other other income and i'm going to call it interest interest income and then save it okay and let's see if i'm, I'm going to add the rule for it adding a rule bank rule and I'm just anything and I'm going to say this is going to be a any text field if it contains interest payment that should be good all right any it's going to be let's call it from uh who's it coming from I can say the bank I guess bank <laughs> generic customer and then the account is going to be the interest income account that we just set up okay and i'll put this I've been, I've been doing reference on that okay and then the rule if it says interest payment all right that'll be the the rule you could call it bank interest or something you could you don't have to name the rule the same as coming through the bank memo but we'll keep it there so i'll save it and let's go down and say interest is there serious do i want to add that i don't know let's go verizon let's go ahead and add the verizon 